A six-year-old boy has a long road to recovery after a tragic lawnmower accident in Eva Beach last week. The boy's feet are severely injured and his family is warning others of the dangers. Nikki Shenfield has a story. Parker and his siblings were waiting to get picked up from school on December 7th. The family says mom was running late, so dad went to get them, but couldn't get his car into the gated area without proper ID. I said, go ahead and park outside the gate, walk in and grab them. They're waiting for you at the dog park. He did, he parked. Um, he unloaded his lawnmower from his trailer and rode that into the community. The family says dad is a landscaper and was having back issues and used the machine to keep him upright. He had my daughter Ryan up by the handlebars of the, of the lawnmower and Parker was sitting in front by the wheels. His older brother didn't like the idea and watched as Parker's foot slipped underneath. His like strap part of the back of his crock got like, caught in the lawnmower, which made him to, which made him fall down on his like stomach which made the lawnmower go over his legs. I flagged down a car and it was a retired firefighter man. I mean, yeah, f firefighter man. He, I was happy he wrapped trying to get around his leg. My dad called 911. Mom rushed to Kapiolani Children's Hospital. But gosh, that was the longest drive I've ever had in my life. Parker lost both his heels and his left calf has serious injuries. He's had four surgeries in the last week and has one on Monday. His future, our future, is so uncertain right now that we just don't know past, like, his surgery Monday. <laughs> and that's pretty much all I know. I can't tell you what Tuesday holds or Wednesday or any day after that. In a statement, the father said, as fathers, we do what we can to nurture and entertain and be there for our children. I am grateful that my son is able to maintain a positive attitude despite the pain and suffering that no child should go through. He says this is a wake up call and to take in the severity of the consequences so accidents like this don't happen. According to Pediatrics Nationwide website, more than 9,000 children are injured by lawnmowers every year in the U.S. Doctors say never allow children to ride on a lawnmower as a passenger and don't let your child mow the yard alone and seek help right away, just like Paxton did. Do you consider yourself a hero? Not that much compared to like the fight fighter men and the fire trucks and other people like that. All the people there were like most likely heroes. There are probably more heroes than me. What you did was very brave. Mm -hmm. A GoFundMe was started to help the single mom get through the next few months. You can find a link on our website, khon2.com. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.